Hey folks, TNT Neon here. Well, I'm going to do a video on my uh, quadcopters I have and what I have on them. Uh, I'm going to have show what I have on my DJI uh, 450 and I'm going to show what I have on my Neo, my Nexus Neo uh, FPV frame. All right, let's start with the Nexus Neo. Um, for what I'm using for LPV, for seeing what the quad sees, I'm using my GoPro. I'm shooting it on 720p, 60 frames per second. Um, I find it be a good recording spot for uh, doing the LPV, seeing what the quad sees, and recording. Everything's go by nice and slow, and it don't look like it's speeding up, shooting in 720, 60 frames per second. All right. I have OSD monitoring on it. So this is the GPS for the OSD. What that shows is how fast I'm going, how high I'm going, latitude, longitude, um, what direction is pointing in, and um, how far I am from home. All right, and I have the OSD up under it. What's powering on the OSD is 11.1 uh, three cell 950 milliamp pack. All right, right here is another GPS, which is uh going um to a board you won't be able to see it in there it's going to the 3.0 mega board black edition all right so that's what's flying my my quad um here is the transmitter that's feeding video back to uh my ground station which this is running into the osd so it's feeding the video in the camera is feeding video in and out is going through here so it's sending it back out so what's powering the transmitter is a 7.4 thousand milliamp battery pack all right also i have bluetooth here so i have an android app that powers up that, that um i can tell um where the quad at is on the map and also i can tell um I can set my PIDs through Bluetooth. All right. Also, this GPS has return to home, and it also has GPS hold. All right. So I can set I can set how how I want my GPS to work also through the Bluetooth on for, through my phone or through my tablet. All right. The motors that's running it are LD power motors, 900 kV motors. The speed controls I'm running are Red to Fly Simon K. Uh, speed control, 20 amp speed controls. All right. Um, also, uh, this is a 4S uh, machine. I'm flying, the props I'm flying are 10 inch uh, Genfly props. Um, they are carbon field props. They fly real good. All right. So that's what I have on the Neo FPV. All right, here is my DJI. All right, I have a brushless gimbal, a 2D brushless gimbal, also with a GoPro on it, shooting my video in 720p, also with 60 frames per second. All right, also I have a FPV cord that's running from here down to the uh, GoPro. This will be also on LPV, but it's just basically shooting for good video feed footage. F footage. So this is not for going out for far distance as I'll be using the Neo for. I, I have shot video with the Neo flying at Metro Line Park. It's doing real good. Um, I have ordered a lens that goes, um, take this lens off. I have ordered a pol polarized lens to uh, shoot clear and crisp video footage all right the motor that's running this thing is 900k 925kb motors from um ready to fly quads all right i have the same board and gps that's on my neo nexus on this this board works great it's gps also has return to home um and gps hold all right, the board is sitting on the inside. Of the, so it's the Black Edition 3.0 Black Mega Board. Also, I have this right here is light range. Let me know how many satellites I'm picking up. All right, 
Oh, and both quads have BECs on them. I'm powering up uh, using a Castle 10 amp BEC on this one, and I'm using, I forget the name of this BEC powering up on this one. This one is also running on um, 4S packs, 3,000 milliamps. I get close to seven, eight minutes out of both quads. I also have Bluetooth on this one also. All right. Um, there's my transmitter. Both quads have clover leaves. That one's just sealed up. Clover leaves give you the better range and better video quality. And both of the systems are 5.8 systems. So there's my clover leaf. All right. Uh, also, there's going to be a battery. There's going to be a battery powering up the uh, back. It goes back here to power up the LPV equipment and a battery that powers up for the gimbal. So a total of three batteries on both cars will be um, powering up everything that I need on this. Of course, it got the landing gear on it. And last but not least, this is my FPV screen that I use to mount up on my radio. That little piece bracket that's running there. So that mounts up on my transmitter, this TV screen. So, and it's doing pretty good. I just want to say that I'm really, 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 really liking these quads. Oh, also, I'm running 10 inch gen fly prop. I mean, 9 inch gen fly props on this. Um, I just like to say I'm really, really enjoying these quads. I knew quads were coming up and taking and taking a spot in the RC world. I mean, they they are great machines. They can carry more than what they look look like they can carry. Like each one of these, we got a 12 pound lift here on this one, so this one can at least carry up to 12 pounds. This one right here can carry up to nine to 10 pounds, but. They are doing good, and I'm really, really enjoying them. So I just want to do a video on what I have on both of my quads. All right. Oh, and these are the receivers that's, that comes for the transmitters So for the FPV. So they are RC-305s. They are from Hobby King. All right. So, oh, and powering these up 11.1 .1 volts. And power one up the TV is 11.1 volts. So I just want to go over what I have on each machine. And they are, like I said, they are doing good. As I always say, guys are good all the time. TNT out.